Look at this. It's so yummy. Mm. Hi, welcome back to Linda's channel. Uh, today I'm gonna make a beef stir fry. So let's you check out. Okay, here's the beef and I have to slice, make a little bit uh, thinner, right? And then um, I got seven cloth of garlic here. If you guys don't like uh, uh, garlic strong in your uh, cooking, you just reduce it. But for myself, I love uh, a lot of the garlic and give more flavor to the meat and I got onion here uh, three spring onion and I got cornstarch uh, light soy sauce dark soy sauce and I got oyster sauce and I got vinegar here but uh, mostly people use white vinegar i don't have white vinegar so i just use a little bit uh, dark vinegar um i use baking powder or bicarbonate of soda and i'm going to use the black pepper uh, i got green pepper and red pepper here Oh, also, I got uh, one cube of uh, beef stock, so to give more a little bit flavor to the beef. And when I'm going to marinate, I decided to use uh, juice of lemon to marinate the beef. So let's we start. Okay, now I'm start to slice the beef. the slice of beef so if you slice make it thinner like this is uh, easy to cook and it's a tender right okay now I'm going to marinate it the slice of beef uh, Two tablespoon of uh, lemon juice, two teaspoon of uh, soy sauce. This is I use light uh, light sauce to marinate it. Right. One teaspoon of uh, baking powder to help uh, beef tender. And I'm going to use three tablespoon of uh, corn flour or corn starch. going to use my hand to mix them together make sure all the slice of the beef uh, 
get the seasoning when you marinate it. Okay, just leave it, put aside, and then after that I start to uh, prep the veggies. Okay guys, uh, before I cut the veggies, I have to prepare the sauce for stir fry. So I have to add 3 tablespoons of oyster sauce. tablespoon of light sauce and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce one and half teaspoon of uh, black pepper So now mix them together. And one tablespoon of uh, vinegar. <coughs> Pardon me. So here's the sauce for stir fry. It's ready here. So I'm start to cut the veggies. Now I'm start to cut the veggies, peppers, spring onion, and slice the onion and just uh, roughly chop the garlic. And after that, start to fry. I'll start to. Make sure all the seeds of the peppers have to take out. Yeah. Right. Cut them in a shape uh, whatever you want.
add four spoon of vegetable oil. I'll start to add garlic. and then after that leave it for a while and keep stirring again and then add veg and spring onion tablespoon of sweet soy sauce it just help the flavor a little bit sweet and a cube of beef guys This is a moist and tender. Spring onion and then uh, switch off the cooker. Mm. Delicious guys. Here guys, look at this. It's so yummy. Mm. Oh my god. Here's the menu for our tea today. We've got rice, strawberry for dessert with ice cream, and black currant for drink. And beef steel fry. Here's my dinner. That is gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I walked a little bit 
a sticky one, like when we cook the, the beef in a pan. Then, before you use it, after the washing it out, before you use it, get some oil and rub oil in it. But there's one here, the Royal Veterans College, where they're more accustomed to scanning horses. Well, if omelette pan, that's not, it's not sick, yeah, but just like an omelette pan and stuff like that. They eventually do sick, put some salt in the bottom of the grill, and just let the salt take the muck out of the bread. Luckily, it's in two pieces, otherwise it couldn't be fitted. Into even this huge scanner. These scans will help the team to not only reconstruct the Temnodontosaurus's skull, but also work out the size of its jaw muscles. They can then assess the power of this huge predator's bite and see if it was strong enough to kill our ichthyosaur. Temnodontosaurs are unusual in that they had huge sharp teeth that cutting through the them 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 But how do them other dinosaurs catch their prey? No. To get Fresh the food, is always good, to see but if you haven't got, you forgot it or back up, it's always good to have a frozen mm. one, okay? Look at that. That's from dinosaur in prehistoric. That is the crocodile or the um it's like a canine. Um, it doesn't look like trolls, it's not an animal. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, crocodile, it's about right there. The fossils are teeth. And because of that shape, there's very little resistance to the water, so they can strike fish, which they do very Thanks for watching guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget subscribe. Uh, I will see you in the next videos. Bye!